In 1937, San Francisco-born Esther Ng directed her first feature film in Hong Kong, National Heroine. 咁咁下咧，算係一個拍呢種愛國啊、國防電影嘅先驅人物。咁呢套戲咧，都係講女性都要參軍，同男性一齊去啊保衞國家、抗敵㗎。Although an American citizen, Esther made all of her ten known features in Chinese, becoming recognized as the first directress of Southern China. I was looking at film reviews from 1941. One caught my eye, which was a review of a film called Golden Gate Girl. And I looked at the credits, and it said directed by Esther Ng. And immediately, I realized that I had stumbled across something very unusual, because it was a, a Chinese language film made in San Francisco. Uh, directed by a Chinese woman. See, Li Huaiquan is Guan Ying Lian. They are doing a film. So Bruce Lee is just out. So you want to find her? Ah, in the Gunman Lady, ah, bad girl. What do you want to see? One hundred and forty-eight years. The film is here. The film is here. Oh, a film. Yes, yes. It's five hours. Mad Fire, Mad Love opened in San Francisco in 1949. This was Esther's last independent production. In 1961, 42-year-old Xiu Yinfei and 47-year-old Esther collaborated on what proved to be the last film for both, Murder in New York Chinatown. In 1946. When asked by journalist Betty Cornelius if she had been nervous about beginning a career in a medium of which she knew virtually nothing, Esther answered, "It just came to me. I don't know why. I just went ahead, and I wasn't afraid of anything. I am the only one in our family interested in pictures. I wonder why." <laughs> <laughs> 